Hi, Meg. 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 What has he done to her? Oh. Easy. What'd you do to her? I know Where's you are Meg? willing to give up your life for her, but you think about it. If you're Craig, dead here, you done you something to her, so I'm you just go. saying. I'm just saying, if you're dead, you can't see her. So back off! Now you and I are gonna have a little talk about you and my wife. Did you hurt her? Just a little, but that's your fault. Imagine my hurt when I saw you kissing her. Not five minutes after we were married. At the church. And then I had to hear how much she wanted you. So that's why you hurt her? We've already covered that. Next question. Where is she? Oh, that's right. I didn't tell you that, did I? Because you want to go rescue her, don't you? Well, you know what? That's not going to happen. You are never going to see my wife again. I'll find her myself. If you do not stop, I will shoot. Go to hell. I don't know where Craig is because I just got here. I would have thought that Paul would be here. Paul, where is Paul? Wow, that must hurt. Maybe you should just stay put. Uh, yeah. Let's just let you finish me off. Huh? Oh, don't be ridiculous. If I wanted to kill you, you would be dead. That is what's called a graze wound. And that's lucky for you that you're not dead because that allows us to have a little talk. Oh. Okay. What do you want, Greg? I want you to live a long, long life, Paul. I want you to savor just what a failure you are. Oh, what a failure I am. You are always out to protect the people you love, but they never are. I mean, think about your little sweet sister, Jennifer. Yeah, my sister. My sister whose baby you stole. That sister, Craig? No, I allowed her to believe that her son was dead, but I didn't ask you to perpetuate oh. the myth. But you did, Paul, all in the name of protecting her. And when you decided to protect Rosanna, look what happened to her. A car crash, irreversible yeah. car. A car crash you caused. And now, Meg. Poor little Meg. All in the name of getting back at me? What have you done to Meg? Paul, I know that you're bleeding, but I need you to focus. This is about you, Paul, what you've done to Meg. You used her as a pawn, and I will not let you do that. Otherwise, you have a very good chance of her winding up like Jennifer and like, like Rosanna. What are you planning? I'm planning a long, happy life with Meg. She's going to be happy, healthy, and well-loved. With you. More importantly, without you. And you, my friend, are going to help me. What do you want? I want you to agree to disappear from our lives forever. And what if I don't? Then I may be forced to come up with another plan. When was the last time you saw him? I saw him near Vancouver, where he was hiring private eye, making phone calls, and I offered my services to him, but he preferred to go alone. And of course, we had one of our usual arguments. <laughs> Okay, so you think he's coming here now? I'm sure that he is, darling. Now, Craig, tell me. I mean, what happened? Did he find out about you and Paul? Did he tear up the contract? The contract? The contract. Delivering worldwide to you. The contract for which you married him. What did he do with the contract? I don't know. Come on, darling. Try to remember. This is important. I 
I've been drugged, Lucinda. I'm having a hard time getting my brain to work. Okay. Okay. What? What is the last thing that you do remember? Oh, uh, going to bed last night, and, and, and Craig wouldn't let me call anyone. And then you had sex? No! No! <sighs> dressed appropriately. We slept in the same bed together, but you... Oh, I well, can't remember. It doesn't matter. <laughs> it really doesn't matter to me. But now, Craig, when, when did he find out that the the marriage was a setup? At the church, he saw us. Us? Oh, you mean you and Paul? Yeah, we were kissing. Oh, God, why couldn't you keep your hands off each other for just a few hours? He started blaming. Paul and I told him that he had nothing to do with the marriage and then I started telling him about the fake phone calls about Rosanna. Oh my heavens. What did what did Craig do with the contract? I don't know, Lucinda. He was angry and, and then he was quiet and, and then he gave me this tea and, and it didn't matter what I said. What? What, Meg? I begged him to leave Paul alone, but but he said that he, he he had to make sure that our stories matched, that he had closure. Oh my God, Lucinda, you went after him. You went after Paul. You don't really expect me to just walk away from me. I told you to stop. You didn't. I shot you. So maybe now you will believe me this time. Stay away from my wife. Because with me out of the way, she'll learn to love you. She agreed to marry me. Because you blackmailed her, because she wanted to get Lucinda back her company. It's, getting worldwide was all she cared about, and marrying you was the quickest way to accomplish that. Meg is an honorable woman. When she makes a commitment, she likes to stick to it. She doesn't love you, Craig. You hurt so yourself. You hurt us in the church. We're gonna run away together. Now, where in that plan do you have hope for the two of you? Because when you are gone, Meg will be free to choose who she wants to love. I will simply make sure she chooses me. Why can't you just leave her alone? Can't you? I did. I left her alone. It was the hardest thing I've ever done, but I did it for her. And then you came back. No, she came back to me because she wanted to, not because I forced her, not like you. And then you've just broken promises, broken promises on taking care of people, protecting people like, like Rosanna, like Jennifer. I will not let you do that to Meg. You will not break her heart. She will never love you, Craig. She can't stand the sight of you. She'll never let you touch her. I wouldn't be so sure about that. That was just a few hours ago. Meg made love to me.